Well, some will let their creativity run wild tonight. They'll be putting their sense of smell to the test, creating their own scent. Victoria Woodle is live in Cherry Hill to show us how it all works. Tori. That's right, Yuki and Jessica, we are letting our creativity run wild. You know, with this beautiful weather, it's time to birth yourself. You know, it's time to be reborn. And with that comes a new scent. I want to introduce everyone. This is Robin Darrow, co-owner of Invent Your Scent. And Robin, Invent Your Scent is an experience. It's a personal experience. So you've set up events where people can really show off themselves using perfume. Absolutely. Wonderful. So each event that you do, your first event is going to be on March 5th, but each event that you do, you basically start off with a kit to make your own perfume. Exactly. And we also have an icebreaker to get people comfortable with making their own scents and smelling different things that they remember with their sensory memory. I love that. And you are, you go by a certain title and it's not just co-owner, it's Centertainer. It's a centertainer because the whole event, not only is it, you know, an experience for everyone where there will be food and drink, but there will also be a DIY project like this. Exactly. So inside the kit, what do you get at the event? Everyone receives six bottles of fragrance. They receive an atomizer bottle once they've decided what fragrances they're choosing mm -hmm. where they'll blend and make their own custom fragrance uh -huh. and a recipe card so they can remember what it is they mix together I love that and we even have a cheat sheet for people how to make their own fragrance little tips like if your nose is overwhelmed yes smell your sleeve coffee oh. is a fallacy actually you smell something neutral that doesn't have any fragrance to to reinvigorate your nose. Yeah. Well, you know what I love about this? You get these six bottles in one set. So you don't even have to fill up the bottle with, you know, your first go around. You can just let that breathe and simmer. I actually chose two scents, which was, I believe, the wildflowers, which I'm more of a floral gal, and then uh, also the cherry blossom. So once you decide on what scent you want, and each event you have different scents, right? right? The final touch after you mix it up is what do you do? Well, you spray it on yourself, make sure that you let it dry down so you know whether you like it or not, and then you name your own fragrance. Well, I have to tell you, Robin, this is named the Tori because it smells delightful. I'm hoping that that reflects my personality, Robin. I know we just met, but hopefully. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want more information about the Invent Your Scent event, the next one will be again March 5th here at Tiernanog and Cherry Hill. Right. But we'll put a link on our uh, website, cbsphilly.com. And this is fabulous. Yuki, Jessica, it's time to up the ante here. I know. It's I time wanna... to have a new scent for the season, right? I want to know what your smells this. like. This smells we amazing. needed a rim shot after that delightful. <laughs> I know. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Tori, thank you.